Hey guys, it is Friday again, which means I've got five of the biggest stories of this week all ready to go for you. Here's what you need to know. Dead or Alive Extreme 3, a spin-off from the fighting game of the same name, won't be shipping worldwide as its publishers seem to be concerned about how its depiction of women will go down. Dead or Alive Extreme 3 is a voyeuristic beach volleyball game which features scantily clad female characters who you can dress up in various costumes. It's set to arrive in Japan on Vita and PS4 in February of next year, but there won't be a Western release. Publisher Koei Tecmo explained in a roughly translated Facebook comment that they spent a couple of years coming to the final decision to not distribute the game globally. Bethesda have released a beta update for Fallout 4 this week, which is a work in progress for its first patch. The 1.2.33 update is available now on PC for players who've opted in to receive beta updates on Steam. The patch introduces a number of new features including the ability to remap number pad keys. And remapping Activate now works on quick container menus. The update also includes a number of bug fixes and stability improvements related to certain quests. Bethesda has stressed this update is not final in its current state and you should back up your saves before you opt into it. December's free PlayStation Plus games and the Xbox Games with Gold have been revealed and here's what you can pick up. On PS4, you can grab the first chapter of the new King's Quest and Gauntlet Slayer Edition, while the PS3 offerings include Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and SSX. Vita users can grab themselves Freedom Wars and Rocket Bird's Hard Boiled Chicken. On Xbox One, you can get The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing for free all month, and Thief from December 16 to January 15. For the first half of December, you can get Castle Storm for free on Xbox 360, while the second half of the month will deliver Sacred 3 and Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising. Microsoft have said that all 360 games released through Games with Gold will be backwards compatible on Xbox One. Destiny has a new Refer a Friend system and it's offering a bunch of exclusive rewards. The rewards include three new legendary swords called the Elemental Kinblade, as well as the Duo Dance and High Five Emotes. There's also a new emblem, a shader, and a sweet EV34 Vector Infinite Sparrow. These rewards can be earned by referring someone to the game, having them buy and play on the same platform as you, and then completing a new quest called The Hunt for Loot together. Bungie have published a fairly complex FAQ on their site to explain the nitty gritty of the system if you want to find out more. Earlier this week, the frontman for Breaking Benjamin destroyed a copy of Star Wars Battlefront and called the game a piece of shit. Well, it seems he's still not all that keen on it. After posting up a picture of the broken disc on his Instagram and raging at how crap it was, radio station 94.3 WCYY caught up with the vocalist Benjamin Burnley. Burnley said a group presumably representing EA asked him to talk positively about the game on his social media channels. And he agreed so long as he liked it. Long story short, he did not. He explained, it fucking sucks. The gameplay sucks. All online games suck in their own kind of way because you're relying on the internet. It's just not fun. His reasons for said lack of fun included what he described as poor spawn placement, overpowered weapons, a lack of a reward system, and bad hit detection. Let me know down in the comments what you cared about this week and if you're planning on picking up any games on the cheap this weekend. This week on Sight, find out where all the awesome Black Friday sales are taking place. I tell you about the best Easter eggs in Fallout 4 on the gist, and Lucy talks through how to survive a nuclear blast on Reality Check. That is it from me this week. Have a lovely Thanksgiving weekend if you're celebrating, and I will catch you again on Monday. Bye.